Hey everyone, do you have a DSLR, a mirrorless, or a really nice point and shoot camera? Ever wondered about how to use it as a webcam? Well, stay with me. Hey everyone, Chris with Coalition Gaming here. I'm, I'm looking at the right camera. Not used to using my mirrorless, my Panasonic G7, which is the main camera that I shoot with for the channel as a webcam, but you know, here it is. Uh, so a lot of people wonder about how to use one as a, like, you know, point and shoot, whatever, like I said in the intro, as a webcam. Well, some cameras, there are ways to use software to capture its feed. Others, not so much, but really the, the foolproof way to do that is to use a capture card. And today I'm gonna to be using the capture card that I reviewed the $55 cheap Chinese capture card. If you guys wanted to see more on that, make sure to check out the video linked right over here. Check that out. 55 bucks for a capture card is really not all that bad to be honest. And for the quality that this little capture card puts out, USB 3.0 can take any HDMI signal. It's really not that bad. So what you're seeing right now is my Lumix G7 4K capable mirrorless camera. It's in 1080p mode right now as far as what's, what's what it's outputting over HDMI, but this is a direct feed from the camera to the computer. It doesn't look half bad. I mean, the colors could maybe need some adjustment, I suppose. But really, as it is, it's got a lot of detail in it compared to what you get from like a webcam, for example. So honestly, I think this is really cool. But a lot of people want to know how to set it up in OBS. So here we go. So here we are at the OBS screen with the black screen here. So there are no sources set up in this scene. In order to set up a source, you would normally go to, pl to the plus sign and pick a source from this list here. So what you're actually going to do when you have one of these set up, because it just recognizes as a camera device, you're going to go down to video capture device. And on video capture device, name it whatever you want. I'm naming it G7, like a G6, but this is G7. And <laughs> here we are. I'm going to select it here as FHD capture. And FHD capture is the name of what the... Uh, the capture card recognizes as and I'm just gonna leave everything else the way it is and boom here we are full camera as a US USB webcam basically and a pretty good setup so now you could always just resize this put this in your scene however you want you can be playing a game while you have it up in the corner bottom middle <laughs> wherever you want it set up a green screen behind it make sure you get proper lighting key it out and have yourself as a floating head anywhere on the screen ah. so really that's the basics of it that's setting it up in obs but windows itself recognizes it as a device so if you wanted to use it as a camera or as a webcam for skyping or anything like that it comes up in windows so we have it here check that out this is the default windows camera app windows 10 camera app and as you can see, it just comes up like a normal camera here. You know, take a picture and uh, <laughs> and everything seems to just work, which is really nice because when you want something to work like this, it's really important that it just works right away because complicated setups when it comes to streaming or doing anything like that can be a bit of a hassle. Now you're just looking at my desktop because I forgot to set up our back in OBS. Now you can see me, now you can hear me and see me. <laughs> so something that is important with uh, OBS though if you're gonna and and really if you're gonna be using any type of camera through a capture card is if your camera doesn't have a big battery or at the very least doesn't have an AC adapter you're gonna need one because the battery will run out the way that it is right now it's just running off a of battery right now so I'm thinking maybe I'd get I don't know an hour or two to maybe three hours tops depending on you know the specs of the camera and stuff like that uh, how long that is going to last before it conks out because well, uh, you know, camera and battery won't last forever. They do make AC adapters for a multitude of cameras. So if you, if, depending on what you have, you're gonna be set no matter what. You're just gonna need to order that AC adapter if you wanna use the camera as a long-term solution as a webcam. Now, you are allowed a lot more uh, flexibility when you're using one of these. You can flip the camera into manual mode, adjust all the settings, white balance, uh, ISO levels, all that stuff. You can control the zoom. You can do all that. Look, check this out zooming out zooming in yeah autofocus now as you can see this is like i said this is a, a, a feed right out of the uh 
of the LCD screen that I'm seeing. And now I can disable all this stuff, but this is how I use my camera. And I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that. After, I don't know, about 30 seconds or so, it clears up and then you, get, you got a clean feed out of the HDMI. Now, I don't know how if other cameras will be able to do that, but I know this one can and uh, I'm sure there's a way to do that with most others anyways. So if you guys enjoyed this video, setting up a mirrorless DSLR or point and shoot camera as a webcam, make sure you click that like button, subscribe. We always got more coming and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.